Here's another Christmas card idea for you, a bauble. Now, I have, I'm very fortunate to have a lovely view of the Pyrenees Mountains, which are currently capped in snow. So I thought, wouldn't that look nice on a Christmas bauble? So here we go. This took, oh, just over eight minutes, but please do take longer. I rather rushed it because I wanted it to be a quick and fairly straightforward one for you. But these things seldom work out like that. So anyway, draw your round bauble or whatever you want to use. Um, I just made a circle around something. And because it's round, please let's put a shadow on it to make it look round, okay? Uh, I'm using a simple color palette. I've got, what have I got there? Indigo, bit of paints gray, some raw umber, the white of the paper and I think there's a bit of green on that mucky palette at some point. So just start off getting the shadow in and then take time to let that dry off. I didn't really do that so much. I then went straight in with a cerulean blue to get some sky in because it was an absolutely vivid blue sky. So I'm just going round to make that blue. That is a number 10 brush, I think. Uh, but it has a very nice fine point on it. So there we go, getting the sky in. And um, you can see already it's bled on the left, but not to worry about it. So we're going in now to get the mountains. So what you're doing is you're not painting the snow. You're painting where the snow isn't. OK, so you've got the white of the paper. Then what I'm painting are the shadows where it forms the shape of the mountain. You might want to have a go at this beforehand just to see that you've got it in your head. And remember, these things are not regular shapes. They're all over the place. And then what I do is I gradually come down and create a bit of foreground using just those grey blue colours. So I'm softening out what's the beginning of the foreground. And then I'm just again bringing in a bit more foreground shadows.
So what I'm effectively doing is putting in a few trees, fir trees, and now I'm putting some rooftops in. So we're just creating the sense of a village in the near distance. And you can see on the right, I've started a sort of a, a stem of um, a trunk of a tree, just to give you a bit of feeling of something coming towards you. And making it a bit darker, because the nearer things are, the more acute and intense the colour comes. There's a bit of bleeding going on there. So please, give yourself at least 10 minutes. <laughs> That's an awfully long time, really, for a quick, quick watercolour study. But I'm sure you're getting the idea of this little Christmas bauble. I added shadow again at the end. It's always best, actually, to let your shadow go on first, because then you won't smudge your painting if you try and do a shadow over the top of it at the end. Anyway... Take an idea from this, mess around with it, and I hope you enjoy it. And have a good festive season. <laughs>